GarageBand for iOS allows you to add a maximum of 32 tracks in any given project. It doesn't matter if you're using an aging iPhone or a top of the range iPad Pro. Once you hit that max number, you can't add any more touch instruments or recordings. GarageBand for iOS does have a feature, however, that will allow you to merge a number of tracks together, freeing up space in your project. Here's how it works. Alright, here is a project on my iPad that has reached the maximum number of tracks. You can see that I'm unable to add any more tracks to it. By tapping on the track header of this track, I can select Merge from the menu that pops up. I can then select the tracks that I would like to merge together by tapping on the circles that have appeared in the track headers. Then I just need to tap Merge to start the merging process off. A new copy of the project has been created with the tracks I've chosen to merge replaced by a single audio recorder track. Note that the original pre-merge version of your project will also still be available in the My Songs browser, in case you want to go back to it. What's actually happening here is that GarageBand is allowing you to export or bounce a selection of tracks in place, essentially consolidating multiple tracks into one audio track. Bear in mind that this means you'll no longer be able to edit things like effects, volume or quantization on the individual tracks that you're merging together. So it's best to finalise any mixing or editing in the tracks you plan to merge before going ahead with this. A really great example of how useful merging can be is when working with multiple drum tracks that you've recorded or programmed yourself. In this project, I have separate kick, snare, hi-hat and cymbal tracks. I've applied effects, compression and EQ to each of these tracks separately. They are essentially all done and ready to go. By merging these drum tracks together into one, I'm able to use more tracks in the project while also reducing how hard my device has to work to render all of those effects and tracks in real time. If you're producing a particularly effects heavy project, there's a good chance you'll run into the dreaded optimizing performance message, where GarageBand will lock up, go through the optimizing process, and then allow you to carry on. Potentially, or maybe just for about another two minutes until it needs to optimize again. It can be quite annoying. You can take some of the strain off of your device's processor by merging some of your effects heavy tracks together. Again, remember that you won't be able to edit these tracks or the effects you've applied to them afterwards, so make sure you are definitely 100% happy with them first. You might also want to create your own drum kits, work with custom chords and maybe even record stuff in just one tap. Find out how to do all that and more by watching this next. <laughs> 